Don't you just love Christmas season with all the pretty presents all wrapped up with their ribbons and bows? The decorations of Christmas that people put not just here in our church, but in our homes and throughout our neighborhoods. People put lights on their trees, mangers on their front lawn, decorate the trees with all sorts of ornaments, and then on top they put an angel, just like we do on our tree. Have you ever wondered how the angel got up there? Turns out that Santa was having a particularly rough Christmas. Something the reindeer had eaten had disagreed with them, and they were having, shall we say, digestive tract difficulties. Mrs. Claus was going through the change. The elves were threatening to unionize. And as Santa was sitting there looking at all the work that needed to be done in the short span between then and Christmas, the angel came in dragging this tree behind him and asked Santa, where do you want me to put this tree? And he's been sitting up there ever since. Angels, they're God's messengers. We read about them all through Scripture. Michael, who did battle with Beelzebub himself. Gabriel, who came and spoke God's word of hope to Mary and to Joseph. Our Bible lesson today talks about an angel who came to visit with Joseph at a time when he was very troubled and uncertain about what he should do. He knew the law. He knew what was expected of him, but nevertheless, he loved his wife and did not want to see harm come to her. The angel reminds him that what has happened has happened through the power of God and that his role is to submit to God's will and allow this to happen. Joseph did. Imagine if he had sent Mary away. Imagine how the story would have been different. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are filled with joy by the many lessons we learn from the story of the birth of our Savior. Help us to read your word and listen as you give us answers to life's difficult questions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.